seven, please stop the violence. My name is Mason and I'm for you. Yeah, we out here in Newark, New Jersey, headed to this peace march. I'm out here with the bartenders. They came all the way out from Harlem, the Bronx. We're gonna show some Jersey love right fast. As always, fam, 24 hours of peace. Y'all know what I rep the right one. Mind up. Mind up. Salute. Boom Bap Nation. Yeah. Self-construction We all came together just to tell y'all something Guns in school ain't right to me You gotta be the piece you'd like to see See yourself free I use my mind beyond time to talk to the future me See yourself wealthy It's time to settle all these beats, man Yo, Nelly, how are right. you? Cause living in that you can't stop me ever Like, man, when I see you, I'm gonna pop through error Like, we ain't learn nothing from the Tupac era From the B.I. terror Take a look in the mirror I represent Faraz Baraka, but since Barack was sitting here, I said, why not? Let me sit down and peach your man up. What up, B? What's going on? Look, Mr. Brad. Doing big things. It's about to get even bigger. Why? Self-destruction is self-construction. Really depends on self-production. Our family's dysfunctional, but we can function to make our next generation option something better than we had, which was close to nothing. Come from the ages of minimum wages, brothers inside cages, millennium slave tip. Put it in the book, but we ain't go through ages. And what I like to see is MCs get along. The word violence, bio means full of, and lit means force. So the word violence means full of force. Full of force. And force is an energy that directs and influences you. So what force is influencing us and directing us to kill and do what we're doing? That force and that energy is ignorance. That force and that energy is self-hate. Now, we can't tell you to stop the killing if we don't tell you how the killing stop. and he analyzed your disease, he first want to know your family's history. Because his family history will allow him to better be able to assess your disease and give you an adequate cure. So in order for us to cure disease, we got to go to the root of our killing one another. Now, wait a minute. I, I don't need applause, I need us to listen. Because we clap too much and listen too little. So I'm not here to appeal to your emotion or tickle your ear or make you feel good. Because feeling good is not gonna get it for us today. Because we have a major issue that we have to address. So in order for us to tell you to stop the killing, we first must tell you how the killing started. That's right. From Television City in Hollywood, If anybody had told me when I was growing up in New Jersey with my shoe shine box on the corner of Broad Market that one day I would be back here to be cheered by thousands of other Newarkers on a common cause, I never would have believed it. But here we are. And why? Because we love our children. And we want our children to have the same thing that all children have. A right to pursue liberty, life, and happiness. We've got to take responsibility for our own children the same way you see on TV the way that James tried to take care of the Evans family. But he was only able to do it with the help of his wife, a strong woman. That's the role. It took the two of them. It took that mother and that father to raise that family. Especially with a child like JJ. 
A lot of people, now that I've got a chance to explain something to you, a lot of people are under the misconception that I quit that show, Good Times, which was so popular. Here's the reality of it. I had two other children on that show. My youngest, Michael, my youngest son, aspired to become a Supreme Court Justice. My daughter, Thelma, my baby girl, who I love so much, as played by Bernadette Stannis, she aspired to become a surgeon. And when I pointed this out to the writers, and I've got two children besides JJ, I'd like you to put some emphasis on what they aspire to do. I think there was a lot of mileage that could be gotten out of the fact that I had a daughter who wanted to become a surgeon and a son who wanted to become a Supreme Court jurist. They chose to put a chicken hat on JJ and have him say dynamite every three pages. So I had to go. Okay? So they killed the character off. But the spirit lives on. Each of you must pledge to take care of the children that you brought into this world. I don't mean just feed them and clothe them. You've got to nurture those children. Help them realize their dreams. Help them realize their potential. Because years ago, if anybody had told you that I would be back here speaking to you in this way, you wouldn't have believed it. I was on my way to Broadway. That's what they told me. They said, hey, Miss, you're going to end up in Broadway. The way I was going, and I did end up in Broadway. But making a movie with Sly Stallone. All right? Because I had some people that believed in me, and the belief in me started at my home, born on Hillside Avenue. I was born in uh, Mount Sinai Hospital. Okay? They went to my sign of hospital? Yeah. <laughs> Raised on Hillside Avenue, we moved these times when I was two years old. So I am Newark. I'm as much Newark as Roz Baraka. And I support Roz Baraka. I'm mayor. Because I know he feels what I feel about the children in Newark. And their lives matter, trust me. Their lives matter, Jack. And you got to carry that thought with you every day. I'm not going to let my child be out here going the wrong way. It's going to start at home. It's got to start at home. It's not the responsibility of your school teachers to raise your child. They didn't bring them into the world. They didn't bring them into You brought them into the world, so feed them and protect them and nurture them and raise them. Be responsible for your own children. God bless you all. Let's stop the violence. Let's stop the violence. Let's stop the violence. Let's stop it. Let's stop it now. MCs get along if you got a buck a shot going in the song. Get your lyrics up, it all sound wrong. When I drop, I rock till the cows come home. I never thought I'd tell anybody to put a gun down. Till last week I saw a 12 year old kid gun down. This ain't what life's about. All the shoot em up, bang bang, and never think twice about. That's somebody's son you shot, somebody's daughter you slaughtered. I shed tears for the Billy How you doing, Arthur? from Queens, New York, to show y'all some love. I'm here today with my mother, Laura, one of the daughters that Sean Bell and I had, Jada Bell, who is uh, sitting over in the side right now because it was a little much for her. I'm here with my organization, When It's Real It's Forever, and we're here to show love for Newark, for Occupy the City, and for all of our supporters who have supported our family throughout our trials and tribulations. Today, we are standing here as examples, living examples, that no matter what adversity you face, you can come out strong on the other end. You see, we all are going through something. We all going through something. Can I hear, can I hear you if we going through something? If you going through something, can, I, can you make some noise, please? I've been through it. I've been there with you. As a mother, as a daughter, as a wife, I watched my family, my community, almost fall apart. How you doing out there? But the strength that came from all of that negative, 
the strength, the unity that we created together. This is an example of it. Just look around as we marched all the way from the beginning of that march, we walked past Rutgers University. I couldn't help but stop and stare at the Justice Center and think about what justice is to us and how our ancestors would be so proud to see that in 2015, we are here to say, never again, we won't stop, we won't be quiet, we will occupy the city until all of our brothers make it home safe, all of our sisters, our mothers, until everybody receives equal justice. We will be here. We're going to come from New York City. All right. We will be here. We hope to see you guys in New York City. We want y'all in. Thank you, Ross Baraka. Thank you, every single one of you who have said a prayer for us, who reached out on Facebook, Instagram, MySpace, whatever back in the days, whatever outlet. Thank you, guys, because we felt your love. And we are the examples that all of us can make it through. I'm a mother. My children mean the world to me. Well, I made a commitment in 2006 when I lost Sean Bell that I would never lose another family member again due to any type of violence. We don't care what agency you work for. We don't care what color you are. No one deserves to lose their life. No one has that right but God. So today I thank you all again, everyone who put this together. Let's keep this going, anti-violence. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Let's do it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for having me. And one more thing, Sean Bell Day. Sean Bell Family Day is Saturday, August 22nd in Queens, New York, Baisley Park. We need y'all support. And if anything y'all can do, donate $5 to the cause. We're on GoFundMe. Support Sean Bell Family Day. Thank you for having us. I tell you, I have the pleasure of introducing Common, and he, by all accounts, has been at one of the forefronts of being purposeful about the need for us to stop the violence and to really promote peace. Welcome Common to the stage. Peace, Newark. In the name of the Most High, I stand before you from the city of Chicago, Illinois. But I know that I'm connected with Newark in so many ways. So I come here because I love you all. And I care for you all. And your mayor cares for you all. And everybody working on this staff cares for you all. And you all care for you all. It was 3 a.m. when I got a call from my boy. His name is Dirty. We called him Dirty. He was saying something to me and I couldn't understand what he was saying. His voice was shaking. But in his voice I could hear pain. In his voice I could hear hurt. And he was saying, Rod, they got him, they got him. I said, Dirty, I can't hear you. I don't understand what you were saying. But we all know when you get that call in the middle of the night, a lot of times we think it's something bad. Well, Dirty was telling me that my friend, Yousef, had been shot. And he was killed. He was dead. A hundred feet from where he lived, in front of a place called the Godfather, and he lived a hundred feet from there. And his wife, his daughter, and his son was in, were in the house. When I heard this, and I understood what Dirty was saying to me, I felt the pain. I felt like, man, this can't be. Seth just got killed? It, it just didn't seem real to me. And then I started thinking, who did it? And I started feeling like that that hurt and that hate of 
who would take my man like this? And I was like, I want to get them. That's what I felt. Because a cycle where not only had he got killed, but his son after when we were 14, his younger brother Abdullah got killed. And his other brother Esau, who was his age, was in prison for murder. Well, at that moment, I decided that I didn't want to be a part of this cycle anymore. I said, man, I can't put that hate out there no more. Whatever I was feeling towards those dudes that took Seth from this earth, I had to do my best to remove that because I had something to live for. When I went and seen Yusef, Yusef was a Muslim. So he was buried before with no embalming fluid, none of that. He was wrapped in a white sheet. And when I went to his funeral, he looked like a king, like a pharaoh. And I really began to value my life and his life even more. I said, man, I gotta use my life for something great. I gotta use my life to do something great in this world. I had already been doing music and doing things that I love to do, but I gotta do something great with this life. I gotta value this life. And I thought about Seth as I looked at him and said, why do I have to value Seth more in death? Why do I have to wait till he died to value you, Seth? But I saw him looking like a pharaoh. And I want to say, if the pharaohs were alive today, if the pharaohs were alive today, the ones that built the pyramids, the ones that came from Africa and built the pyramids, if they were alive today, they would live in cities like Newark, New Jersey. The pharaohs that built the pyramids brick by brick in Brick City. Well, what in Brick City are we building now? It's time to build Brick City. Brick by brick. Well, look, I met this little brother backstage. I did a film. I'm a part of a film called Selma that um, starred David Oyello, directed by Ava DuVernay, one of the greatest directors of black women. She directed Selma. It's the story of the people of the civil rights movement. John Legend and I did a song called Glory. And this song, we talked about the movement that's going on right now and the change that's going on right now. And this little brother spit some of the verse for me, and I wanted him to spit it for y'all. So check him out. This brother named Chris. Hands to the heavens, no man, no weapon. Tony, yes, yes, glory is destined. Every day women and men become legends. Since you go against our sin, become blessings. The woman is a rhythm to us. Freedom is like a rhythm to us. Justice is just a position enough. Justice for all death and pacific enough. One son died, the spirit is a vision enough. Two and live and living and not to do enough. That's why I wrote and sat on the bus. So now we walk through the and with our hands up. When it goes down, the woman and man up. And stay, stay down, and we stand up. Shots me on the ground, the camera panned up. King point to the top, and we stand up. Peace in the city, full 24 hours, and my man Rakim is in the house. Peace, peace, what's up, y'all? This is Common right here. I'm out in Newark. I'm out here on the grounds with the people. This is one of the days where we occupy the city and we making movement. So I want to shout out the people. Of course, the mayor, Roz Baraka. I want to shout out my man, Doug Mills. I got to shout out my guy, Hakeem. Say, we're going to keep it moving. I'm saluting y'all for what y'all doing. You know we do it from the shot to New Jersey to all around the world. Let's go. Peace.